I request you all to please take your seats. Good evening, everybody. I am Amita Rana. On behalf of Palimpsest Publishing House, I welcome you all. Please take your seats. May I request you all to please put your phones on silent. Thank you for being with us. We have come together this evening for the launch of a wonderful book, Mrs. Sheila Dixit's Dilli Meri Dilli, Before and After 1998 is a celebration of the city of Delhi. We are honored that His Excellency, Mr. Pranam Mukherjee, former president of India, is here amongst us to release this book. Mr. Mukherjee is undoubtedly one of the most outstanding personalities of our times. It is just appropriate that he is here to unveil the book. But before that, I request Mr. Bhaskar Roy, Palimpsest Group CEO, to introduce the book. Mr. Roy. Thank you, Amita. <coughs> it's uh, our privilege to have the former president of India among us this evening. Of course, an outstanding book needs an outstanding personality to release it. We are going to witness that big moment in a while, and we would also like to benefit from the chief guest's wise words. But before that, before that, why Mrs. Dixit's book is making news? The answer, well, is simple. Through a collection of carefully curated photographs, the book captures almost a millennium of Delhi's journey, its aspirations, impulses, its ups and downs, and also the very exuberance that keeps the city going. The book traces Delhi's way of adjusting to new influences. From the red sandstone of the Mughals to the red brick of the Raj, this transition absorbed many, many layers of culture and politics. Eminent historian Eric Freikenberg somewhere said that New Delhi stands more for the Republic of India. It's a lively hub of people from all over the continent. Shilaji's book is a celebration indeed of Delhi's robust pluralism that Freikenberg talked about. Many of you would recall Freikenberg was born in India, Uti, his birthplace. Now, Shilaji's book is populated by those who speak through the structures they have raised. Mirza Ghalib's Haven, Agrasen Ki Bauli, Sacred Heart Cathedral, Bangla Sahib Gurdwara, Baha'i Temple, Akshardham, 
it's a beautiful melange. Now, at one point, this elegant, profitable book crosses the boundary of its elite environment and takes, takes the reader on a journey of discovery to those parts of the city which are normally left out of polite conversations. Mukarba Chok, Looney Border, the soft underbelly of East Delhi, such places were transformed by a massive development program in the early years of this millennium. And this book graphically records this exciting process. In that sense, it's a path-breaking, profitable book. Now, how do you measure the success of a book? Perhaps from early recognitions it gets. Before I end, let me talk about one such early recognition. When the book was ready for printing, the author had self-doubts. Is it the book I wanted to write? So I sent the book to a well-known literary agent in London, Laura Morris. We had worked together on another book. And I requested Laura to assess Mrs. Dixit's work. And this is what she wrote back. I'll just read a few lines from the email she sent. Dear Bhaskar, I have read and enjoyed Sheila's foreword. She paints an authentic, familial picture of the relaxed atmosphere of the Delhi she grew up in, and then shows us the contrast between that and the humming, dynamic metropolis it has become. And she obviously achieved a huge amount while holding the reins, which is definitely worthy of celebration. She seems like a remarkable woman. Now, we all agree with Laura Morris, and we know the remarkable woman has produced a remarkable book. Thank you. Thank you for those words, Mr. Roy. It is reassuring that so many people have come for a book launch, and that too on a Saturday evening. Mr. Yogesh Malik, the dynamic chairman of the Palimpsest Group, will now welcome our guest, Mr. Malik. Honorable Shri Pran Mukherjee, respected Sheila Ji, eminent guest, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an honor for us to have all of you here for the launch of this unique coffee table book. Perhaps such a project has not been attempted in recent years. Delhi Mary Delhi offers you glimpses of the amalgamation of the history, the contemporary, the culture, and the institutions that make Delhi. The book acquaints you with the major developments that changed the face of Delhi in the tenure of our ma'am here when she was the CM to bring it to a world-class and world-recognized metropole capital of the India. Sonia Vihar water treatment plant, Pragati power plant, Barapula flyover, CNG conversion, Delhi Metro, to name a few of the many initiatives undertaken by her. 
It took us two years to complete the research of this book, Delhi Meri Delhi, on behalf of Palimpsest Publication House, I welcome you all to the launch of Sheila Ji's coffee table story on Delhi. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Malik, for giving us an overview of what a cultural transition Sheila Ji brought about in Delhi. This is a big moment. A new book is being launched. There's something about the book that grips you. I request our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Prana Mukherjee, to release the book. Mr. Mukherjee has strode across the political scene for almost half a century, holding some of the most important positions. Let us give them a big hand. Now that the book has been unveiled, we are very excited to hear a few words from the author herself. I will request Sheila Ji to read out a few paragraphs from the book that she has so lovingly made. Mr. Roy and all the very, very distinguished friends who have come here on the launch of this book. This is the first book that I have ever written in my life. And uh, fortunately, it seems to have come out all right. Because <laughs> uh, I must tell you that we did do a lot of research on it. And as uh, Mr. Roy already told you, that it took us about one and a half to two years to really complete the book. And we also took asked people who were not in India but abroad, for instance, from London and all, to give us an idea of what the book look, looked like, the little bit that we had sent them. And it was only after when they encouraged us that I got the courage to finally publish this book. I do hope each one of you will enjoy it. I don't want to read very much out of it, because if I started reading, I could go on and on. And we are all wanting to hear Pranabda much more than me. But I do hope that each one of you will think that your money has been well spent on this book. Thank you very much for being here. And thank you really very much for all the encouragement that we have got from all of you. Thank you so much, ma'am. This is the moment we all have been waiting for. Our esteemed chief guest, Mr. Mukherjee, will now address the audience. Pranam Mukherjee, sir. Good evening. Shilaji, I don't think any other epithet is required for her. Simply saying her Shilaji is adequate to reflect the entire persona of Mrs. Shila Dikhit. Sri Jogesh Malik, Chairman, Palimpest Group, distinguished guest. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to be present I mean, to you this evening, particularly to launch Srimati Shila Dixi coffee table book, Delhi, Mary Delhi. There is 
there are some places in history which are just not mere geographic extension. There are some places which are more than geographic expression. It is emotive. When you water the word Sangrila, it connects to your emotion. The word Hiroshima or Nagashiki speaks of wanton destruction of humanity unfortunately triggered by human evil genius. Similarly, Delhi is such a place. The very utterance of this word reflects the emotion of entire India. India, people of India, many of them might not have come to Delhi. Delhi is still durast to them, but at their mind, Delhi has a special place, and that place is Delhi, very Delhi. I'm thankful to Shilaji for penning her experiences about Delhi being its chief minister. Till now, for the longest period <coughs> of time since the Delhi became the capital state of India. She herself is a metamorphosis of Indian psychology, Indian persona. Born in a Punjabi family at Kapurthala, representing Parliament of India from Kanoj constituency, serving as union minister and then serving Delhi as its longest chief minister till now, uninterrupted long 15 years. <laughs> and very frankly, Delhi is changing so fast, it is almost mind-boggling speed. When I first came to India and Delhi, Many years ago, almost half a century ago, as a member of parliament in 1969, I thought it is not a metropolitan city, but it is some sort of extended and expanded village. And during the last 48 years of my stay in Delhi, I have seen how it has changed and changed with such a stupendous speed. Taken to its population in the early 70s, it was 3.5 million. The population was about 1.5 crores when Shilaji took over the responsibility of Delhi's administration. And now it is 2.5 crores. And this is the figure around 2013. In the last three and a half years, surely much more people have been added to this city. 
in our country, public figures, particularly of the post-independent India, normally do not pen their experiences. And it is a sharp difference between the leaders of the pre-independent India and post-independent India. Almost every important leader of the pre-independent India, particularly the Congress presidents, hardly there is any Congress president who has not penned down his experiences, evolution of the Indian politics, veering round Indian National Congress, starting from W.C. Banerjee to Dadabhai Nauruji to Feroz Sameta, almost all Congress presidents have penned down their experiences. And there is no doubt for a researcher or a student of history to find out the evolution of this great national organization, <coughs> which is linked with the development of modern India. I'm glad that Shilaji has made an ex exception by penning down her experiences and presenting us with a beautiful coffee table book. I have no doubt many more politicians and budding politicians will be encouraged by her example of penning down their experiences, their reactions, their responses to the situations, to the events to which he or she is exposed. It is absolutely necessary for future generation to study the time, the period through the, these writings to go to the macro history of the development and evolution. I would not like to spend more time, but I cannot prevent my temptation from quoting the very first, most interesting, and perhaps which sums up the whole thing which is, to which the book is dedicated. Mirja Ghalib's poem on Delhi. I asked my soul, what is Delhi? She replied, the world is the body and Delhi its life. With these words, I conclude and I can assure as a reader to Shilaji, that spending the money on buying a copy <laughs> is <laughs> worth many folds because you have placed the soul of Delhi to the readers through this book. Thank you and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your appreciation of Sheila Ji's remarkable efforts at shaping the city we have all come to love and call our own. Delhi, Meri Delhi. Thank you. Once again, let me remind you that after the program, the author will be available for signing the copies of her book. We have a sales counter outside the auditorium. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for the evening.
early morning at 6 